One is know your risk. So the really great thing about being alive in 2017 is that families are much more likely to talk about their history of cancer and breast cancer now than they were 20 years ago. So make sure you have those conversations with your family members to find out you know, if you have a history of breast cancer in your family. The other thing is get screened. Um, so talk to your doctor about what you learned about from your family if you have a family history of breast cancer. Have a mammogram. Susan G. Cohen still recommends that we begin getting mammogram every year at the age of 40 and having a clinical breast exam every three years starting the age of 20 and every year starting the age of 40. The next one is know what is normal for you. Now we used to call this a breast self exam and this used to be what everybody said to do with the breast self exam. But we know through research that people would use that in place of a mammogram. So they would see a picture of a breast self exam and they go, Oh, we're good. I'm perfectly fine. I didn't feel anything. I didn't see anything. So I don't need my mammogram this year because I did a breast self exam. So we've changed our language on that to know what is normal for you. So probably the most common sign that people think of of breast cancer is a lump. But I have a piece of information back on my table. A mammogram actually finds a lump much, much smaller than you'll be able to ever feel it. So a mammogram still is our gold standard of technology for detecting breast cancer. So there are other signs as well. So a lump, a swelling, warmth, or redness of darkening of the breast, a change in the size or shape of the breast, dimpling or puckering of the skin, itchy, scaly, sore, or rash, pulling in of your nipple, nipple discharge that starts suddenly, or new pain in one spot that does not go away. So again, if any of these things, if you've seen any of these things, you want to speak with your doctor about it. Now, odds are it's not going to be breast cancer. So if you do have one of these things, you know, try to stay calm and go and Stick with your doctor and get further testing. The last one is make healthy lifestyle choices. And one is maintaining a healthy weight. And they're really showing the research is that uh, maintaining a healthy weight is especially important for um, women and men who've had breast cancer. So if you maintain a healthy weight and if you lose weight, it can lower your risk of getting a reoccurrence. So that's a little bit scary to think about, but what the research has shown is that it's actually the process of your body losing weight. So it doesn't say you have to lose 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 40 pounds, 50 pounds. You can lose five pounds. It's literally the process of your body starting to lose weight that lowers your risk of getting a reoccurrence. So that is, is great news. So maintaining a healthy weight, adding exercise into your routine. I'm not talking about running a marathon. I ran my first 5K two years ago and hated every single second of it. And I, will, I was cursing everybody I knew and loved by the end of that thing. And I'm never doing one again. But I do have a Fitbit, and I do my 11,500 steps every day, which is six miles, and I don't mind that at all. So you gotta find something that works for you.